welcome to the unboxing show. Today we have the uh, 20th anniversary PlayStation headset and controller. And you may have noticed that those items came out, I don't know, a year ago. And you might be wondering why we're opening them now. Well, they're still available for sale, and we thought that you might want them because we got them because we wanted them. And we want to see what's in the boxes, and you might want to see what's in the boxes if you haven't bought one yet either. It's reasonable. So, we're going to start with the controller, which, as you can tell, thanks to the clear packaging, looks very similar to a regular controller. There's not actually that much exciting about it, except for, that is, the color. If you decide that you want one of the 20th anniversary controllers, the easiest way to find one would be to look for the words that say 20th anniversary. But if that doesn't work, the color coding employed in the packaging will help too. See? Blue, regular. Black, not regular. Look for the black box. So I'm going to just take it out just so you can see that it is just a regular controller. I have no idea how to take these things out. Oh, the instructions attacked me. Okay, there's instructions in the box. Watch out, they're wild. And here we have a very, very, very new controller. Oh, I've ruined it already. I've gotten fingerprints on it. Okay, so the big differences between this and the regular controllers are the colorful button, which you can see, and the fact that the back plate is a dark gray instead of being black, which it is on all the other colored controllers. But other than that, there's not anything else that makes it unique. Doesn't matter. I like the way it looks. And you might think, having seen this on retail shelves, that that is a shortcut to getting the controller that came with that super expensive 20th anniversary bundle. It's actually not. This controller might be the same color and it might have the little button in the middle. It's, but if you look like really carefully in the click pad, touch pad, whatever it is they want you to call it, there's just little dots on this one, just like there is in the regular controller. But if you take one of the actual 20th anniversary controllers and you look at it very carefully, these dots are actually tiny PlayStation buttons. But then again, I guess if you're a collector who cared enough to spend $600 on a limited edition console two years ago, you would already know that. But don't go buying one of these and trying to pass it off as one of the super expensive limited ones. It's probably not going to work. Now, there's the headset, which is, well, again, black packaging, but underneath the black packaging it is exactly the same as the regular headset, just blue box. And so when you open it, the first thing that you will see is your headset. But that's not the only thing in the box. If you give us just a second, we will break down the contents of the box. Oh, there's a little smudge on it. It's brand new. It's got a smudge. I didn't put that there. I hope you guys can't see that. Yeah. It's good. Look at that. It's new.
So that's what it comes with. It doesn't really come with anything that the regular ones don't. All that it has going for it is a pretty color, but sometimes a pretty color is enough. And so you might be wondering, since they're basically the same, which one you should get. So, this is how you decide. The regular one looks like this. The brand new 20th anniversary one, by brand new I mean last year, will look like this. Which of those two wonderful people would you rather be? That's for you to decide, not for me to tell you. So, this has been our unboxing of the 20th anniversary PlayStation 4 controller and the 20th anniversary PlayStation 4 headset. We hope that you enjoyed it, and we also hope that the next time that we unbox something, it will be for something that didn't come out a year ago. We'll try. So if you really like this, we do Loot Crate unboxings as well, and obviously other gaming hardware. Who knows what we will do next. And we also do gameplay videos, so if you didn't like this, there's something else we do that you might like. If you did like it, you're also welcome to watch both of them. Watch both of them. Please, subscribe. Yes, all of those are things that we do. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it's your face, you cameraman, looking at me with your face. That's getting left in here. We are professionals. Laughing breakdowns don't happen every day. <laughs> they do. I'm sorry. <laughs> professionals. This is a professional production. Imperial Future. Professionals. We know what we're doing. <laughs>